Hi guys and welcome along to the first part of a bumper trilogy taking you from destruction to construction with Car Warden Reclamation. In this first episode, Tony is going to be meeting up with Richard on the site in Witchbold known as the White House. The whole house is going to be taken down and these guys are going to basically take all the good parts out of it, take them back to the yard here, reclaim them, get them all cleaned up, get them nice and ready to the next owners on their new part of their life, basically their new journey. But before we get into the show, I just want to remind you, I keep going on about it, but it needs to be drummed in. By the end of February, you are going to know what we've got coming. If you're looking to get into the trade, if you're an apprentice, or you're looking to retrain into something else, we've got some exciting news coming your way. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. Welcome to the White House in Witchbowl near Droitwich. I still have a copper canopy in my house. I'll get you. Yeah. When you come to the yard, I'll show you. So Winston Churchill is 89 today. There you go, guys. Now there's a bit of history for you. Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to take you on an exciting journey. Richard Parrott has very kindly joined us from the Car Warden Reclamation Yard and it's an amazing place. Check out the link below guys, you've got to go and see this place. So let's go on this journey around this beautiful property. Richard's going to explain how they're going to go about dismantling it, how they're going to use it for reclamation. You and I both know the more and more we can start recycling guys, the better it's going to be. So let's go and have a look at this beautiful place. Okay guys, this is a really exciting project for us. We don't get many Georgian houses being demolished it is a now. It's a beautiful place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh, yeah, I could like, move in. I could I'm move right. in. I haven't yeah. even looked at the place and I'm super excited about this place. Yeah. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? I mean, like, I'm so envious of you guys having such an amazing job like this is like kind of strip everything out and there's some really really cool finds yeah, and, uh, yeah, which we're going to go through so. really really nice project one of the things you were saying you have to do like a report you know give it to the council do a full asbestos report yeah. so it's really important to obviously make sure the, the the electric gas is disconnected and water it obviously yeah uh, yeah uh, the water is not quite so bad but yeah. we need to make sure again we don't want to be wasting water yeah we need to make sure the water is disconnected at the edge of the property gotcha. and that, that is correctly done so when you first um, rock up to a property like, how do you assess it yourself and what you think you're going to reclaim do you start from the outside or inside first how how do, you, how do you address that, Rich? The initial is obviously the visual impact to the yeah. building as you walk through the gate. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you, sometimes you go, wow. Sometimes you go, why have I come all this what? way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in this particular that. instance, I walked and I thought, wow, this is yeah. this is a really, really good property for us. And although it's a beautiful house, it's on a large plot. It's going to provide a lot of people with new houses yeah. and at least we know that a majority of the materials that are salvageable in this house will be reused again somewhere. The carbon footprint of a project like this is as low as you can make it really. Absolutely you know, brilliant that, it's absolutely know. perfect. So let's have a walk around, let's yeah. go and see the, uh, the property. So what part of it would you start first with them, Rich? First things, we see the porch. Not particularly old. Yeah. It's it's probably post-war. An earlier one would have would have collars yeah. around here, and it would probably be made out of wrought iron yeah. or a similar iron. Whereas this is probably mild steel. Yeah. But it's got a look. You yes. saw it when you no, arrived. No. You know. I, I thought. So I yeah, yeah. yeah. We, would, got, you know? we we would salvage that, yeah, and yeah. it would go in our yard, and it will sell. You yeah. know, because it's got a look, it's got an earlier look than it actually, yeah. you know, it might be 50s, 60s, but proportionally it's quite nice. No, I think it's really, really you know, cool, isn't and, it? Uh, and also, while, well, while we're here, what I then see are the steps, main steps which that. I think are original to the property. That's a lovely step. It's a beauty, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, look, look at beauty. that, look at that, look at that. And also, it's got that patina, which you can't yeah. reproduce because it's yeah. had thousands and thousands of footsteps yeah. through it. So that will have to take a bit of care yeah. taking that out yeah. because it will it will break quite easily, yeah. especially as the the porch has been sunk into the slab. Probably been uh, lead resin. Yeah, it, it, maybe something it like will that. be. Uh, if it's done correctly, it will yeah. have had. It will have uh, molten lead will have been yeah. put in the hole. You're quite correct. And then the thing dropped in. My first job is to check the bricks. They are 75 mil. Yeah. 
they're 240 long, which, which tells me that they're yeah. a traditional, that they are of the period, they're right. With these bricks, do you ever get concerned about the paint on them and stuff like that? And well, we have got a process back at the yard right, okay. where we, we can clean these off using a wet blast machine. The, the actual machine is called a quill. A this quill. I can tell initially because experience tells me that's a smaller brick, it's a shorter yeah. brick, and it's got a, a finer face on it. So sadly, we probably won't salvage those bricks. Yeah. They'll be left on site yeah. to be recycled by the client and used in the roadways. Well, that's brilliant, so, isn't it? It's not coming off site, is coming it? Coming off site, going into lorries, being taken miles yeah. away. It's actually stopping here and, then and being get, reused on the site. And then is, get crushed here. That, that's, that's brilliant. I really like to see that happening. I think that's a great thing, isn't it? You yeah, know? but the roof tiles, yeah, we would definitely reclaim those roof tiles. They're that's a really Hawkins good. bullnose, made by Hawkins in Cannock originally. Yeah. They're a really, really good quality tile. We have quite a good market for those. It looks like a clay, is it a clay? Yeah, they're it all clay, clay tiles. Yeah, yeah. Clay tiles, and, and yeah. They, they're called the bullnose because the, on the edge of them, I they can have see, a yeah. edge. That's it, yeah, yeah. no, that's, that's beautiful, isn't it? Do you know, I've never come across that tile before. They always say they're so new. You learn yeah, every well, day, isn't uh, there? The day you stop learning, <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah. Now, this looks like it's got some asbestos panelling on the top, or on the That's roof, right, it? yeah. We've had specialist companies come in, yeah. identified that this is asbestos containing material. We will not touch this. We will have a specialist company in yeah. prior to us arriving on site yeah. to re safely remove this encapsulate it and take it to a licensed landfill. Yeah, yeah. And on that, we then will be able to provide the clients at the end, our pack that we hand over to him at the yeah. end will contain the relevant paperwork so that he's comfortable that, he, yeah. that he's, it, has been, uh, it has been dealt with in a correct manner. It, yeah. it, it is a good system and it works no, really well. I think that's great where you have that pack, you hand it over and it's like, and there you go, we've done it, everything's then ticked off. It's like a, a ticking box exercise, isn't it? Yeah, it's and really it, it means all the way through the build the principal contractor and will have a history of the yeah. site that he can that can stop with it stop with the contract that yeah. the owners That's really so good. they know the job's been done correctly yeah but what what I'll do as well is I always look everywhere the, the, one of yeah. the tips in my game is even though it's a 60s garage always pop in and have a oh, look yeah, because it might never, contain something you, you never that, know what's in a garage yeah just, yeah so shall we go and have a look yeah so can't you, do, yeah. yeah go, on, go yeah. for it rich this, I have got the university. I was going to say the uni. <laughs> I see the site cabins arrived yes. already. Yeah, we've got the lads will be all right. We've got a, a door there which initially, yeah. thought, wow, yeah, look, stood in, yeah, nice, but very late. But I'll, I'll probably give that a chance in the yard. And yeah, we've got a nice little find there. Locally made, nice tapered leg. Nice. The, the leg is absolutely lovely on this. Yeah, it? fashions change. Yeah, I'd have known the time we'd have we'd have put that into a, a, a stripping bath. Yeah, stripped it right back. Yeah. Now the market likes patina. Yes, and, gotcha. and I agree with it. I think yeah. it, it's really nice. So that we would, we just to, the first thing we probably do with that is just clean it, just yeah. wash it off, gotcha. let okay. it dry, yeah. have a look at it. There's a little bit of possible oily, like oily. Oils, isn't it? Yeah. See how that develops. Is it going to yeah. be a problem? It's not going to be a problem. Put a coat of wax like on it. Like put that. it in the showroom. Yeah. Everything that's on this site will be recycled in every way. Our object is zero landfill. That is absolutely Zero brilliant. landfill. What we try and do is do as much of the segregation yeah. here as possible because we just feel this is the place. We're not we're not using miles up, we're not clogging yeah. the roads, we're not using diesel. Anything we can do here, we do on site. When you like kind of look at this elevation like this now, Richard, the, you can see there's quite a lot of blown bricks and things like that. I can see there's lime mortar in there, there's like kind of a, a cement-based mortar in there as well. So what's your rate? ratio on this wall would you think would you say you probably get like two-thirds of the bricks out of this would be good or more do you think? yeah I shall just go and have a little play with my yeah. with my key so what I do there is there's a blown brick which does concern us but yeah that looks like lime doesn't it yeah it's a lot it will be a lime based mortar because but I would think those bricks will dress fairly easily yeah uh, but they're going to be soft yeah basically it's been caused by the mortar is actually yeah. slightly harder than the brick. The so, bricks haven't been able to expand and contract in the fr gotcha. freezing and, 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 and hot weather. I call it the tap test. 
see how that's yes yeah, they're yeah, a yeah, relatively yeah. soft yeah, brick yeah, so yeah. we're not going to get we're going to get a good yield yeah but we, there is going to be an element of waste in these right. uh, and also what you tend to find they use the whole bricks on the outside yeah and there could be on the inner course yeah because they'll have used the halves up the three quarters because gotcha, this will be like a nine inch wall I it'll be a nine yeah. inch wall yeah, yeah double width wall yeah. but when we go inside I, that part of my assessment i will have a look at the internal wall and there's some beautiful detailing up here as well isn't it that's what i love about some of these old buildings and i yeah. suspect this was somewhere where they kept a small horse carriage yeah that was where they obviously kept the hay yeah and the horses were below beautiful old detailed hinges there aren't they very old and traditional yeah yeah typical you yeah. know handmade cast hinges but you can see there that the, the screws are actually later yes so i suspect they've replaced the door but used the original yeah. hinges i have a little ferret in here earlier we talked about that wall so behind you there richard you're dead right you got like three quarter bricks half bricks haven't you yeah they didn't waste they didn't they didn't waste stuff you know bricks were these bricks that have been bought on site in yeah. a horse and cart the bricks came in tip them up some of them would get broken but in those days the carriage and the haulage was the most expensive part of the process so therefore they didn't as we do now yeah. throw them in a pile they just use them on the internal wall i can only see whole bricks probably on this tall bit here they're actually a later brick are they because they're bigger if yeah. you look at the sizing yeah, no, of those, are, yeah. they're actually slightly yeah, thicker. Are. Actually, yeah, no, you're, you're spot on. So that I suspect yeah. that little gable there has been rebuilt at some time. It's yeah. handmade brick. You can see the crease marks and yeah. the, we can see what this was used for. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, this yeah. was the toilet. This was wow. the earth closet. Now that has shot me actually. Yeah. But now you said that, yeah, because yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would be the lid. <laughs> Obviously it wouldn't be a concrete floor. No. It'd be, a, it'd be the old fashioned earth closet. That would have been cold. <laughs> you wouldn't want me the man that cleaned the hole out, would no. you? Again, this is the less exciting bit. Yeah. All of a sudden I've seen there's a heating tank there. Again, that'll have to go for specialist disposal because obviously yeah. it's got oils in it. Yeah. We can't send that to the scrap merchant no. because obviously that will need cleaning. Yeah, contaminants yeah, in there. Yeah, it's no. contaminants in there. <laughs> And you've got this beautiful old ladder here. This must have, that looks quite historical, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got, it's got hooks. hooks on it. Yeah, I think it's just been an access ladder. Yeah. But again, it's, it's quite nice because it's just got something about it. Yeah. Somebody's taken a bit of care and attention when so they made you'd it. you recycle that? Yeah, we put that in the yard. Yeah, 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 definitely in the yard. Yeah. And, and, and there's actually great shame, really. This is a lovely door. Yeah, it's just got a bit of beaten, isn't it, really? Yeah. I love the arches. Yeah, uh, again, I think a bit of recycling. I yeah. don't think that was the original door for there. Yeah. I think when they built this, or when they, I think this was this was originally a whole wall. Yeah, because that somebody's made a. That looks quite a modern hinge. As exactly. Well, it? Yeah. yeah. Again, yeah, you've got machine-made nail, uh, yeah. machine-made screws in it, and you can just tell it's been it's been popped in. Yeah. But they've had that door lying around, and hang on, we'll yeah. use that for. Serves a purpose. Yeah. But very quick. It is. It is pretty. Yeah. Pretty tired, isn't it? Again, this yeah. is where the economics kick in, I'm afraid, and and that's that's probably going to have to go into the recycled timber bin. Yeah. We said earlier that we thought this might be sort of the the gatehouse, is sort of where they kept the stables and everything else like that. Now it's actually looking more and more like that, isn't it? Because obviously yeah. you can see the horseshoes up. That's yeah. the manger there. And, and we've got a little pop-up access yes. area there. Do you reckon that's what that ladder's for? I think that ladder was yeah. used to get up there yeah. so that they could access the little hayloft. In fact, there's the old rather nice corner up cast iron. Oh yeah, there is, look, yeah. They, they aren't as fashionable as they were, but we'd certainly save something like that yeah. because it's a really well-made, iconic bit of salvage, really. You've got an old brick floor looking at it as well, isn't there? We would certainly salvage these. Again, yeah, great patina. Yeah. You know, they've yeah. they've had a lot of had a lot of boots over them. And the old door here. Is, yeah. In fact, it's been recycled. Look, it's been hinged yeah. one side, and then it's been reused. In fact, yeah, look, it's been recycled. T hinges on there, isn't there? Yeah, and I think actually it's a. It's actually it is, a. It is a stable, stable, stable door. door. Yeah, it's a stable door. Or stable type. Yeah. Oh, actually, again, always look. We've got a really nice little cupboard there. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. You can tell they're pine panels. They're not yeah. plyboard because they've been raised and fielded. Quite really? a sweet little thing, that. Always look behind the door. Always look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is like into the central courtyard of yeah. the actual building now, isn't it? This will come out. These, yeah. are, these are LBC 
common bricks. Yeah. We won't put those in the yard. Yeah. They will stop on site. But I think this is, is probably where they kept a, a, you know, a small buggy type governess's cart or something like that. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, look at it just, ah, in fact, look, Look at these here then, this is just where they hide the saddles. Yeah, saddles and harnesses, harnesses you know, the yeah, collars yeah, 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 and yeah, things yeah. like that. They'd have the collars in here. A chest of drawers here, quite sweet because it's got somebody who's Planes, chisels, files, files saws. saws. So again, with Baker, it's been adapted over the years. Look, and it's actually dovetailed, look at that. The only thing that might just detract from it, it's yeah. been on this damp floor. So it yeah. depends how, how that's affected it. Look at that. Thought you missed uh, that, Chris. You missed you that. See, you, <laughs> ought be doing, you ought to be doing this, don't we? <laughs> ah, look at that. Cigarette box. Yeah, look at that. Or card box. Card box. Card box. Yeah, yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, we'll give that a life. Uh, these are quite interesting. These are these are gully bricks. Yeah, will you recycle those? We'll recycle you? those, yeah. yeah. Usually for people that have already got those. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, they're yeah, looking they to it. match up. Yeah. And I've noticed Wow, this that's lovely, in. yeah. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you think's underneath there? I suspect it's a soft water well. Yeah. I'm glad you've pointed that out actually. For, again, from a health and safety perspective, we will lift that to make sure. I mean, look at that. That's just yeah. lovely, isn't it, where that's all been done? I mean, that's just brilliant, that a is. Bit of real, you know, proper workmanship. Yeah. It's absolutely you know, for something so utilitarian that, yeah. that, that they, they've used the materials they've got available. Absolutely brilliant, I love that. And again, that's that's but that's desirable. Yeah, you know, yeah that definitely, definitely comes that's back a, in the yard. You see that into a reclaim yard, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. The bricks in the yard, the century yard, you'll probably recycle a lot of these. Yes, we will take a view on these. Uh, these are quite unusual. They are. Do you know, I've never seen that sort of size. No, it's an odd. It, is it an old like kind of paver or is it a brick? You know, because some of them you get bricks and some of them are pavers. Yeah, I think it's bit. made as a pavia. Ah, that's a pavia. It's made as it? a pavia yeah. that has. Quite hard, uh, yeah. quite hard clay as well. So yeah, we we definitely salvage those. We'd probably pick the blues out. Yeah. These um, red aren't they looking like a red in colour? Like yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they would they would go back. We'd probably have to clean those. Yeah. But as in wash them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just get the colour back on them. Sometimes, sadly, these have been relaid with um, cement on concrete. Yeah. And they just caked, and we just we can't do anything with yeah, them. Yeah. You just have to smash them up. Uh, they're quite nice. There's only a few of them, but in fact, the property we're on at the moment have got these in actually. You might need a few more. We do actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Right, let's go into the house. I'm really right, super excited yes. about this. So when you walk into a room, first assessment, you sort of, you, you've said the floors. Is that the first thing that you go to? When, or do you look at the fireplaces and the, the surrounding cupboards and things yeah, like that? Yeah, what we call the soft materials I yeah. look, at, look at first, which okay. are the, the light fittings. I always yeah. check them. Fireplaces, obviously this room has been, uh, I, I think actually that's, Period-wise, that's the same period as the fireplace. Yeah. That may well come back to the yard. I was going to say that sometimes it's really funny. Some of the light things you might not think will be quite um, sought after are actually now sort of because funny how people's. Yeah. Um, if you've got a house of this era. Yeah. That 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 could that could tick the box. Yeah. The one minute something can be in fashion, then all of a sudden go out of fashion, and then come back in fashion again. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like tile fireplaces are a classic example of yeah. Victorian tile fireplaces. At one time they were really popular. Yeah. A lot of reproduction ones were yeah. made. Yeah. Now they've gone. They may well come back, but they've yeah. gone at the moment. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know. Yeah. So these cupboards here. Yeah. Is, is that's. That that you would use? It is definitely, yeah. They're contemporary to the house. I think that that's obviously a later latch. Latch, yeah. Uh, maybe they're not contemporary, they're a little bit sharp, so that's probably been put in later. We certainly saved the doors. Yeah, yeah. Now, the other thing is, like, uh, I walked in and seen these radiators, and what are your thoughts with these? Ray? Yeah, they, we would not recycle those. Yeah. Radiators of that type are cast iron. These are a lot later. Yeah. And they're actually made out of pressed steel rather than cast iron. Yeah. So, uh, again, they would go for smelting. Yeah. Okay. Um, and even the original cast iron ones. Yeah. 
A, they're really difficult to take to pieces and they do tend to leak if they've been moved around a lot. Yeah. And unfortunately, on a lot of them, the, the, there's a seal in here. Yeah, that's, that's, I've seen that. You, yeah. you can sometimes you see like a, a water bleed through those. That's right, yeah. And it's bodies. usually usually when you move them. Yeah. Because you, you just that little bit of a, a movement just... Yeah. And, and unfortunately, those gaskets are very often made out of asbestos. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't notice it earlier, but this has got some old panelling here. Yeah. Is that, you, you would, would you recycle We would, yeah. We'd, t we'd just probably just take that one panel out there. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, they're lovely. That's beautiful, isn't it? To show you how clever I am, I suspect that the carpet was put down in 1960. Wow. <laughs> or the underlay was. Yeah. These are lovely, lovely boards. Absolutely brilliant, aren't they? I mean, yeah. uh, they're really wide as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, actually. I mean, let me just get my tape measure on them. Look at that, eight and a half. Eight and a half inch. Yeah, really nice board. It's really difficult getting this sort of size board, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Uh, most common is the six inch. Yeah. And I suspect these are butt up as well. So they're yes. not song and groove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which actually will, means they'll come up a lot better. Yeah, because uh, looking at it, got the old, with the one thing that we always do, reclaim floors, put the cut clasp. Nail, yeah, yeah, the really proper important. nails. Yeah, proper yeah. Nails. We've got a nice little period. It's obviously the same age as the house. Yeah. Again, uh, actually not original hinges. They've got a lot, uh, quite a modern 60s. Okay. If you look at the way the hinges are. Ah, it's a rising butt hinge, isn't yeah. it? So the yeah. door rises to so come away from the floor. Look, yeah. you can see the door. Look, you see it just there. Look, guys, there. Watch it lower itself down. Look, you see? Clever. Clever, isn't it? Because it's what it is, is when you open the door, it self closes, that's why it's on rising hinges. Look at that, just does it itself. Again, a really silly little thing walking in this room. The push plates. Yeah. Quite sweet, actually. Lovely, aren't they? And they've got a little bit of age to them. Yeah. The way that the gold's has just worn off. That's particularly, particularly nice little plate, that actually. Could be 60s, but could be yeah. a lot earlier. Yeah. You can see how. The property's evolved because looking at it straight away, this looks like this is a main wall that went through here at one time. Yeah, I think you're spot on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and if you look at the the drop in levels, in fact, yeah, you got the old floor here as well. Yeah. There? Again, we've got some nice boards. Yeah. But, but you uh, can see the same width again. Same width. The nice thing about these are as well, they haven't, they've never been painted. When we take it so yeah, it's, this is what we normally see. So again, the outside for yeah. some reason is really common as well, a clean, and then you get in here and these have, but What they, I normally find when we strip up carpets, Richard, I don't know whether you could tell me what it is, but you normally see this black stuff on the out perimeter and in the centre of the room, it's like a rug's been put down there, but it's not the colour of the black. I think you're, I think you're spot on. Yeah, they've just put the, they've just put the colour around the outside. Yeah. Because of course, fitted carpets again, something we take for granted. Yeah. They weren't, they weren't generally, they were they, they didn't have them. They had, they had a rug in every room. The reason why they didn't have fitted carpet is because they didn't have hoovers. So to keep the places I like the clean. Idea of that. They would roll the, and you know the old things they yeah, used to bash the yeah, beat yeah, the carpet yeah. beaters. Walking just through a few of the rooms already, so much recyclable stuff, so much reclaimed stuff that you can then move on and sell again instantly, haven't you? We have, yeah. No, it's 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 a great site for us, and I think we'll do really well out of it. To be yeah, honest with yeah. you, I suppose what, where we look at things, they aren't a particularly old door. No, but. They're quite proportionally quite, I don't know what you think, quite, no, quite attractive I, so little I, set of I, doors. I mean, the first thing I, I see, raised and fielded panel, which I think is a lovely thing to have. They've obviously got the, the three panel set per door. The other thing that I find is really, really interesting, Richard, they've got this beautiful staff B detail they're putting yeah. to break it up, which is very old and traditional. And the other thing, as you were closing it, I noticed they're actually mortise and tenant. Instantly you know that they've been made in a really good quality way because mortise and tenon doors, as we all know, are far superior than a dial door system. Even though they probably were made, we say, in the 1980s, yeah. uh, we would save those because yeah. they're well made, they're a quality item. Yeah. Now, this building, before you took it over, it's sort of what was it last used for? I believe the, the owners of the builder yeah. told me that it was a music school. Columbia Records. Wow, God, that takes me back. Takes anybody back? 
So viewers, anybody you know got any of these old records like this? I remember them. They've got the old cassettes. Do you remember the old cassettes? Look at that, wow. Put them all in here, just slide them in. Cassettes of music, wouldn't you? Now, if you're not our age, a cassette was a really irritating little thing that you used <laughs> yeah, to put <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes the tape you used to chew up and then you had to try and get it out without breaking the tape and then get your pencil and wind it back together again. Oh yeah. my God. And it was always your favorite one, <laughs> it wasn't was. it? It's was never, never the one you'd <laughs> wish you hadn't bought. <laughs> I'm having a look around just in case we've got a, a, a Beatles uh, <laughs> yeah, you original. Yeah. Um, the first edition. Demo. <laughs> The, uh, yeah. the demo record from like that. Abbey Road. Yeah. <laughs> I suspect not. While we're in this room, I think we better yeah. we ought to just check this floor. Yeah. Okay. Because again, it's it's in the old part of the building. So. Look at that layer upon layer yeah, upon layer, yeah. isn't it? Look at that old brick. Now that's what I love about old properties. You can pull up a carpet and you can pull up layers and layers. But look at that underneath that floor. Just to expose them so people Just can see what that, they're guys. like. I mean, that quarry top is going to be absolutely breathtaking, isn't it? When it's it is, water. yeah, because uh, the other thing about it as well is if they're all like this, yeah. they've got, they're, they're perfect because they've got the patina. Yeah but they, they're, they're still in really good condition. Yeah, I mean, to find just... that, a bit like the floorboards, to find yeah, those two things. Yeah, look at that, wow. They're eight and a half inch by eight and a half inch. That's, and this is quite a big floor as well, isn't yeah. it? So, that's so, gonna be super cool, that is. But do you see how many layers of carpets we've got? We've got one layer, then another underlay, and then another underlay, and then that looked like a bitumen backed to suppress the damp, I assume. I think, yeah. that, I think that's what yeah. they've done, which again indicates that they're probably just on soil or they're on a lime-based mortar, which is and the moisture's just come through. Yeah, which is exactly what you want. It's perfect for yeah. us, yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant, those. And do you know, I remember as a lad, they were this, they were the thing. These were the thing. You got to have your canopy. Yeah. Cop, you got to have if your you copper canopy. You didn't have one of these. You weren't anybody. You now know? I still have a copper canopy in <laughs> my house. I'll get you. Yeah. I'll get you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Retro. I'm ahead of the. I'm ahead of the. Uh, <laughs> when you come to the yard, I'll show you. No, I've just noticed another one of them plates here, yeah. isn't there? And of course, it's crap. But it's another stable door, is it? I think actually, what's happened is the way that that is. Yeah. I think they've cut a plank door in half and then put like a bit of a serving. Yeah, on I there. think. Oh, look at that. Again. Look at that. Look at the wear. Uh, yeah, beautiful, Look at this, isn't this it? lovely yeah. wear that you can see where people, now you can imagine hundreds and hundreds of thousands of footsteps have gone over that to, to do this. It's just beautiful. That can't be reproduced. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So you see, years ago, you'd be sitting in your front room and you'd ring your bell, yeah. and people like me would come <laughs> running through with your tea, you see. Every room I walked into so far, there's so many baker light switches. Yeah. Now, I know these are in a bit of a phase, I think, were. Are they still in a phase? <laughs> they've, they've rolled off a bit. Are they've they? rolled off a bit. The sort of thing will save them yeah. and put them in a, yeah. a, in a box yeah. if somebody yeah. comes. We don't charge a lot for them. Yeah. But again, it's, it's nice to give us something another life, yeah. really. No, that's it, definitely so. You know. Everybody would probably assume that might be some kind of fireplace. What do you think it is? I think it is a fireplace. Yeah. I, I don't think people will say, oh, there will be an open fire in there. You'll be yeah. the ingle not. Fireplace. Yeah, I know, yeah. By the time that this building was built, yeah. that would have housed a cast iron range of oh, some description. Yeah. Again, just like we've said, yeah. thick technology, inverted commas, had moved yeah. on and you didn't have your spit over the fire, yeah. you had your cast iron cooking insert, stuff. Yeah. That insert. makes perfect sense. It, so, it sort of lends itself towards that, doesn't it, you know? The one thing I've just suddenly hit me now is these beams. Now, that, these look like software, though. They don't look like... Yeah, they're pine, those are. Yeah. Pine. Is this something that you would use or not? Uh, or? It's something we're considering just spitting yeah. down into flooring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, this is where the economics kick in. Yeah. The, cool. the chances are these joists, are, are the, the boards are held in yeah. uh, with the same nails, yeah. which will be cast. Yeah rather than the more modern wire nails. Yeah. The cast nails are dev devils to get out. Yeah. They snap and then you have yeah. to get them out. So it's a long process. Yeah. 
and also we're just thinking about buying a machine you really need to plane them all the way around yeah and then you can cut the joists and make gotcha. flooring yeah i see yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah which is good it's it's not as that's fine yes but it's a it's a good it's alternative. the commercial viability i suppose and the size of the joist obviously then determines that exactly well. it wants to be six six to nine inches yeah. a nine inch joist is best because what you can actually do then cut the nails off so you haven't got a d nail yeah and then you can split your board down it's something we are actually looking at doing now That's so cool. these i think were put in at the same time as the house was built. yeah and, and again what they tended to do because it's next to the fire pans it's a big pack salt salt, salt and, right. and, and pro uh, sugar yeah. products such as that you notice they've got a key in them yes. so they're lockable sugar was an expensive product yeah. when this house was built this wow. was a real luxury so where do you keep it you want to keep it next to the fire keep it dry because yeah. these houses were, in, were damp because yeah. they didn't have central heating in yeah. that um, and but the the master of the house or the mistress of the house or whoever would be able to lock, uh, all up, lock yeah. the doors they're often called salt cupboards yeah yeah just because of their proximate proximity to the uh, to, no, the, to the fire that. that's two things i've learned today I'm full of useless information. <laughs> no, I'm telling, I'm loving this. No, practi so cool. no, no practical value <laughs> whatsoever. But the other thing I've just noticed is this old. What, what do you think this is here? Uh, it's a speaker, I presume. Yeah, 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 I think it's probably a speaker, maybe an intercom. It's an old wire. It goes into a Baker Light. I don't think it would yeah. probably pass uh, do your pat test. <laughs> yeah, it would be definitely not that. Uh, and again. Something I'd probably give a chance to. Yeah. It's just a, something a bit quirky, just it something. Is. And people aren't going to use it as a speaker, but they might put a modern speaker inside it. Yeah, I don't know, but a you, piece, you know. So. And again, we'd give that a chance in the yard. Yeah. And if it was still there in eight or nine months' time, it may be when I have when I get it one morning and say we've got too much lying around. It might be a, ca <laughs> might be, might be a casualty of that process. A casualty, I like that. So, yeah. So. Should we go on to the next level? Yeah, we'll go upstairs and have yeah, a look in the... Uh, look. No, I don't think you'd be uh, salvaging that, do you No, think? I think that'll probably be going to the metal, <laughs> the metal man. It's not even very heavy. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's just like, it's just so bright. But you see, in 30, in 30 years' time, my children will be saying, the foolie, why didn't you yeah, save did you all say those? <laughs> why didn't you save all those? Well, all it, they say that now, so... Uh... <laughs> now, this is something I need to talk to you about, because I'm passionate sad. about my stairs, I am. I love my stairs, as everybody will know out there. But you told me something earlier, and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. But all of the stairs, you can't really do much with them, can you? That's the economics of the job, I'm yeah. afraid. Because we get so many sets of stairs. Yeah. It saddens me because this yeah. is contemporary. This is the original staircase for the yeah. house. Classic early George, early mid Georgian. Yeah. It hasn't, you know, it's very straight lines. You know, that's lovely. You know, that's like a, 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 a Grecian column. You know, it's, it's it's actually graduated. It's thinner at the oh, top. So beautiful. This here, it's just all this is all hang carved and pulled in, and it goes to this beautiful turning here. So you can imagine the guy who made this small little turning and this like kind of bit of a. Uh, a wreath. But unfortunately, the marketplace at the moment, we haven't just, got a, we just, we just can't place them. So shame, unfortunately, this will go for chipping. Again, initial thoughts are pretty untouched. We've got a fireplace here, which is, yeah, wow, contemporary. Nice little Georgian hob type fireplace. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, gorgeous. It's got the it's got the nice the roundels. That's lovely. That is, isn't it? Yeah, a nice pretty little pine surround. Yeah, surround, and that's isn't actually. It? We'll just have a look and see what's uh, what's underneath the. Yeah, look, there is a half. It's a sleigh half looks like to me. Just a nice little bit of uh, stone, I think. Yeah. So we'll have a go at getting that out and. Hey up, and here we go again. We've got the floorboards. Wow, look at that. This is such a bonus to get this beautiful flooring, isn't it, Richard? It is, yeah. Drop the tape on it. I would suggest it will be the same as downstairs. Yeah, yeah eight and a half. Now, you've got pretty much the whole of the downstairs, haven't you? And then yeah. you've got quarry, you've got floorboard. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice... Floorboard then up in here. You've got your mantles, you've got your doors, you've got all your bricks. That's just that's brilliant, that is. It, it is, all, yeah. All of that being 
recycle, reclaim, reuse. It's just absolutely awesome. That well, is, I think the, it? it's like the boarding. It's great because it's probably got another yeah. hundred years now. Oh, 100%. You know, once it's put down in a new, in a new yeah. property or a period property yeah. by skilled people like yourselves, we're seeing more and more now, even in new, quite contemporary properties, yeah. people are starting to look at brick, old bricks to maybe just put a bit of a contrast. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely see uh, that a lot. A bit of old, yeah. bit of new, uh, yeah. done properly, as we know, it, all the, it, it looks, looks really good. Yeah, it, it looks, looks really, really good. And you've got an old door here. Do yeah. You you'd be the get machine. Yeah, and again, nice. Handle. That's, that was fitted on the door, wasn't it? Yeah, put in. Yeah. Beautiful, you know, isn't it? Principal bedroom. Oh, so that, yeah, so same again, you can see actually uh, floorboard, the old floorboard back in here again. And then you've got a beautiful old fireplace that matches Again. the other one. Yeah. So, you know, like kind of, uh, if people want to buy a fireplace in the surround to have identicals in a couple of rooms, they, they'd be lovely. Yeah. yeah, and we'll try and keep those together all the way through the process. Yeah. So when they're in the showroom, they'll be yeah. together. So people can, if they wish to. We're back in the 1970s again with, <laughs> with, the, with the copper canopy. It's beautiful, isn't it? That old doorway there. Again, same spring latch. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's original. Really, really nice. And there's one little gem I've just noticed over there. Look at that. That's pretty yeah, cool. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's got a crack on the top. Yeah. But I think we'll forgive it that. 30s. And it's got uh, a name the, to it there, look. The Alba gramophone. If you Google this, you'd actually find an original of this, wouldn't you? Yeah, we will do that. Just yeah. out of for, yeah, out of interest. So she goes to the next level. Yeah. And look, another beautiful staircase part. Look at this. Oh uh, yeah. If you look down there, you can actually see a better. All the way down, okay. So should we go into this one in here? Yeah. Uh, so you can see there's a bit of wear and tear in here now, can't you, Richard? Yeah, yeah. It's sort of uh, the old lath and plaster paper yeah. all there, all coming off. There's not going to be a lot in this room, probably to the floorboards you better use. Cracking floorboards again, Absolute to be cracking. honest. Should we yeah. try and take one up here? Yeah, we'll have a go actually in here. I think so, yeah, there's a bit of Oh a, right, yeah, that's been, bit that's of an earlier there. one that's been, Again, these were often lifted for electrics or, oh, like that's come out. Oh, lovely. Uh, Hang on. There you go, got a bit of a paper there. Let's have a look what's on about. Boom. There you go. Uh, so Winston Churchill is 89 today. There you go, guys. Now there's a bit <laughs> of history for you. <laughs> now that's what I love about old properties. You take up boards and so many times we stripped our houses and uh, getting them ready to renovate them. and. Obviously, you must come across it so much, Richard, where yeah. you're stripping out properties, find old cigarette boxes, bottles, Ver and newspapers. Yeah, very common cigarette yeah. boxes. They, yeah. the, the, I think the joiners used to chuck. You, you've obviously come across it. They used to chuck yeah. them in the when they finished. They chuck them in the, yeah. the, the void. That's I've never found any bags of gold sovereigns. No, though. no. <laughs> or if we have, the lads have never told me about it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's That's really. Great. And if you look at the back, it's still got life in it. Yeah. Now, if you notice something, guys, look. You see the back of this. This hasn't been planed and finished. You see like this here, look, the difference. Now, if you bought a timber today, floorboard, this is actually planed on the back, you know, whereas it's not rough sawn like this. And in a lot of the olden days, they would only dress the sides that are actually going to be visible or working on. It is something I've noticed in a lot of the strip outs we do. It's very rare the underneath of the boards yeah, good are, point. are cleaned and planed. They're all literally like this. Because you imagine that all this process would have been had to done by hand. I'll just have a quick look to see whether this actually goes all the way through. Yeah, yeah, again, yeah, yeah. And the great thing about it, look, they've even used the wider boards in the hallway. Look at that, it's just brilliant, isn't it? I think where we've been lucky as well, there's not been a lot of repair work done, do it? I don't think so, what would you yeah, say? They haven't been ripping the floors up and... Uh, one thing I've noticed is as I walked around, there's not been any new boards, electric boards put in and a lot of the plumbing is really old plumbing so basically you can think that a lot of the work was done here was done years and years and years ago and you know if they would have kept up with modern times they would have, they would have lifted loads of boards damaged them put yeah. electric circuits in because you've still got all the old baker light switches and everything yeah 
You can see your asbestos guy's been going around here, isn't he? Looking yeah, yeah, this is because it's, it's what they call uh, an invasive survey. So they actually, yeah. anything that's suspected, yeah, they, they will actually punch through to check that yeah. if there's anything there. Obviously, if we get here and we find asbestos, yes. all works have to stop. Yeah. It's time delay. God, and, yeah. and also, you're exposing the guys to, yeah. you know, potential risk. Yeah. This room is the... The room of death, I'm going to call this room, actually. <laughs> because I've never seen so many dead flies in all my life. I mean, I don't know what was going on in here with flies, but come and have a look at this, guys. I mean, it's just... You know that the floor and everything is going to be pretty cool, but yeah, there's a few flies in here. That's all I can say. What do you think to this? Is this going to be... Because this seems quite original. Yeah, I think that solid, actually, it? yeah, it's... It's applied, but it's what, again, 30s. It's almost yeah. contemporary, you know, with that yeah. uh, that little box we saw down yeah. down below. Would, the, would this get, get, go into the yard and be, give it its time frame? It, it would give an, it, it'd be given a chance. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be given, given a, a chance. chance. I like that. I love that you do that as well, you know? Like you give everything its, it's sort of time frame to see whether it's <laughs> You've got to have a go, really. Yeah. Um, and, and it's our ethos, you know? That's yeah. why we started the game. We, we, yeah. we you know, the... We're farmers originally, and farmers don't like waste. No, no. So, that, you know. <laughs> so what else have we got in there then? Fine little roll top bath here with the original globe taps as well, which you is quite know, smart. I absolutely love this type of tap, you know, and you don't hardly ever see it. I mean, you can still buy them, but it's just, I do love that original tap. Will you sort of just leave it for somebody to buy like that? Or will you get it re-enamelled? We'll get it re-enamelled. Because yeah. uh, the, the, the way the marketplace is, yeah. If you've got to buy that from our yard, then you've got to take, you've got yeah. to organise transport to somewhere yeah. for re-enamelling. Yeah. And then we, it's, we, we take the, the, the risk, if you like, of enamelling yeah. yeah. them because we've got, we've got a spray shop as well, yeah. which helps it, it so true. they can be done on site. That's brilliant. It's got just a yeah, fairly, fairly plain leg, isn't it? But yeah. you see it's still quite a nice underneath there. Now the funny thing is, is look, you look, you got the old reclaim board, so you know the board, reclaim yeah. board's there again. I just noticed the basin behind you there. Is that something that you might be able to repair, or is so again economics kick in? Yeah, uh, yeah they do. There are companies that repair that. Yeah. the cost of doing that basically means that's out of. Out, out of so commercially, it's not com viable. commercially, yeah. it's not viable, and, yeah. and the same with the taps, really. There's a story, I had one of those. Yes. I had one of those and I thought I'm gonna keep it and just try it. Yeah. And, and the week I sent it to the scrapyard, somebody rang up and wanted to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, the funny thing is, this sort of stuff is becoming quite in vogue. It is, and also, cast iron baths are fantastic yeah. quality. Yeah. That's now I could get very boring here, because I think that is later than that. Do you? Yeah, yeah, you see where the wow. things have been replaced. Yes. Though. Do you know what? You've got a really good point there. Yeah, so that's that's maybe 70s. Yeah. Probably it'd be a pink. Yeah. But it'd be a similar style to the one upstairs. Gotcha. That we saw in the, the other little bathroom. What age do you think this is? 50s. Wow. 40s, 50s. That's super cool, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Yeah, another little, little... Look at that, guys. Oh, there's a bit of a dead bird in there. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. On, online watching. That's obviously yes. what the flies are after. Yes, maybe, yes. Maybe. Yes. We look lovely surround. We're really lucky that these yes. features like this haven't been taken out. No, because normally that would just have been ripped out. 100% that would have been ripped out, wouldn't it? Well, you see as many houses as I do. Yeah. How often do you go into your projects? And oh, it's you know, very you rare you, you, yeah. you get more than half of the original pieces being left in. But this is just brilliant. You, you used to, you were saying, keep architraves and skirts, but you don't now. Uh, yeah, it's a shame really, but again, the market's drifted off from that yeah. because, uh, as you know, you know the, the, we've now got CNC machines, etc., yeah. that are available. Yeah. And this stuff is a lot more easy and, and Access cost of, uh, accessible to yeah. people. Whereas years ago, it was all done on a spindle mold yeah, and it took yeah. a lot of time, as yeah. this would have been. Yeah, now it's a lot cheaper process. Yeah, so mass produced, it's just a different, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a shame because some it of the is. old architraves are beautiful, aren't they? Really? And the quality of the timber, yeah. can, um, because most of this is forest, this will be forest grown timber. Yeah. So as opposed to, most of the timber now obviously gets plantation grown. Yeah, it's forest grown. So it's natural, it? this, a lot of yeah. this was natural forests. Yeah. It grew slower, more dense. I bet the old floor is here as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, let's have a, we'll, we'll, uh, as we say, always oh, check. There you go, look at that. Yeah, it's there, look. Yeah. It is there. 
Yeah, it runs oh all the way God, through. Look at the width of that board. Yeah, that's, that's, that's even wider. wider. Wow. That's got to be easily 12 inch. 11 Just inch 11 inch that. boarding. That is beautiful, that is, isn't it? Yeah, and this, is, this has had glue on it. Yeah. But as we were discussing earlier, we've got, and you'll see it when you're in the yard, yeah. we've got like a, a, a brushing machine, yeah. which will actually take a lot of this off, but wow. still leave the patina. That's beautiful, so, that is. It'll be interesting to see that go through the machine, actually. I was actually. Say, I'm not seeing board yeah. that wide for absolutely ages. That's beautiful, that is. My lads won't be very impressed if they see this, they'd have had this off by now. Now that's... There you go, look. I suspect the whole of this across here, it's got all of this original old staircase panel, as I call it. Is, there you go, look, you see? Oh, lovely. Now this is what I love about old buildings. It's just, look at that. This would be crazy if this was a doorway. There's look, yeah, it's got a hinge on it. Oh my god, look at that. This is absolutely, look at that. That is, that is so super cool, isn't it? Look, that would have been a sort of like originally, instead of that staircase being there, I think that would have been some cupboard doors to this room. That's where I think it might be. Yeah, what do you think, no, Rich? Yeah, I think you're spot on. Because I think what these are, this door finishes here, and then you another set of door here. Look, there's another hinge here. There'll be another hinge here somewhere, I reckon. Look at that. Look, yeah, there is. Look, there's a split door here. Look, yeah, see? it'd be nice to follow that through the uh, process. That, that. Through that, yeah. Get I those, mean, carefully get those out. Now, who would have thought all of them doors and that panelling would have been where, when you look down there, there was a staircase, so you can tell that's like a, an additional later on, and this would have been a whole like on a cupboard storage space area, wouldn't it? Yeah, and they've just panelled yeah. over it because why? Why do? Why, why put something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah dear. why do anything? Yeah, else? well, spot it. it. <laughs> you're, you're better at this than me. And this is why we love old properties. I think what you'll find, I think when you strip all this off here, I think you'll find there's a whole load of stuff behind here. Yeah, look at that, guys, look. Look at that. Look at that. And then bricks look really, really nice, don't They're they? good. Yeah, really, good bricks. Really good. You know, again, this is obviously a later addition than different than the softer bricks yeah. we saw in the stable. They're beautiful. I mean, you just know that you can recycle, you know, or reclaim those bricks, isn't it, you know? Absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm blown away. The little fine that I hear. Yeah. It's just brilliant. Absolutely why I absolutely love old pyramid properties. So your time frame, you sort of said that you're probably looking at about a three, four week program to strip yeah, I think sympathetically to the bird, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I walk around, I'm thinking I might be a bit optimistic. <laughs> I looked at it and thought about four weeks, but yeah, there's a lot to Yeah, strip yeah. I think there's so much cool stuff, isn't I, there? You know? I think four, four is probably closer yeah. to the three. So all I want to do is I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Richard no, it's for been showing a pleasure. us around. It's absolutely been brilliant to do that. No, because no. it's we want to bring you guys on this journey to show how much effort and work goes in on Richard's side and our side to make sure we try and bring reclaim materials back to you guys because of all the reclaim yards I've seen, I've seen quite a few reclaim yards and I only came across Car Warden literally probably about Four or five weeks ago, I was in search of an ornate brick, a, lot, a really fancy detailed brick for the project that we were doing, plus a brick match as well. And the one thing I came across when I went to Richard's yard, it is an amazing place to go because oh, it's you. so well organized. It's got a huge amount of stock and Dan, the guy who we walked around, really knowledgeable fellow, knew where exactly with the brick that we wanted to go to, where to go to. The amount of roofing tiles that they've got there is immense and the, the shop, you've just got to go to go to the shop. A massive thank you again to Richard. No, it's I been hope a pleasure. you've enjoyed this first part of this journey that we're going to take you on guys because obviously we're really super excited about bringing to you guys the demolition of this place where it's going to be simply stripped all out. 
recycling all the boards and what we're going to do we're going to take you to Richard's company and bring in you guys all of the finishings and all the cleaning of the bricks cleaning of the boards so you can understand the amount of work and effort that goes into a product to then get it back out to use and using your period properties all right guys so if you enjoyed the uh, the video make sure you hit that like button all the relevant links are going to be down below to obviously link to Carl Warden and Richard they've got a great team there so anything reclamation make sure you check them out have a great weekend see you later guys take care cheers goodbye thank you again